Savinova, the defending world champion. What's allegedly been uncovered is corruption on an industrial scale, apparently aimed at manufacturing champions. The details came to light over 11 months of investigation. The findings and the conclusions. What they say is Russia's huge state sponsored doping program. Our conclusion was that, that all of this could not have happened and continue to happen without the knowledge of and, and either actual or implied consent of the, uh, of the state authorities. The investigation started after Russian figures spoke in a German documentary of an allegedly systematic, even diligent Russian effort to give athletes undue advantage and keep it quiet. The accusations, now also supported by documents and recordings, include doping cover-ups, destruction of hundreds of samples in laboratories, payment of money to conceal positive results. It's worse than we thought. Uh, it, uh, it has the effect, unlike other forms of corruption, of, of actually affecting the results on the field of play. And it may, it may be a residue of the old Soviet Union system. Another gold medal for the gold medal. The Soviet Union regularly turned out medalists in international competition, also long believed to have a persistent doping problem. Post-Soviet Russia didn't perform as well until the London Olympics. Effectively sabotage, says the report, by doping Russian athletes and the lack of will to ban them. Also named is the IAAF, the World Athletics Body, an ex-chief accused of taking bribes to cover up positive Russian tests. If there are failings in our systems, if there are corporate governances, internal governances that should have been in place, then I have to fix it. The report recommends a lifetime ban on five runners, two of the medalists and five coaches. Russia should also be banned from international track and field Very competition, it says, until it cleans house. Chicken. Russian officials said that would be unproductive. When we speak about the fight against doping in Russia, isolation and disqualification will not lead to anything, says Vitaly Mutko, the sports minister. This Canadian athlete says it is all vindication of what he knew, the Russian practices he's lobbied against and called out, and now included in the report. Because track and field is supposed to be for the purest form of sport. Uh, it's, simply, it's simply who can run the fastest, who can throw the furthest, who can jump the highest. Um, so I think that purity is more tainted than, than by drugs than some other sports. The commission acknowledges the doping problem goes well beyond Russia and well beyond track and field. The scale in Russia, it says, is unprecedented.